welcome back to the Canada Info Hub channel. My name is Wolo. I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I create content about life in Canada, immigrating to Canada, and anything that will benefit anybody that lives in Canada. Um, today is not the usual immigration topic or the frequently asked questions I promised to talk about during this period of self-isolating. Today, I just want to complain. Yes, I don't like complaining, you know, but today I just want to complain about Winnipeg. The reasons I don't like Winnipeg. There are some reasons I don't like Winnipeg. Um, for every city in Canada, there are the high sides and the low sides. There are the ups and the downs, the negatives and the positives. For the positives, Winnipeg is a very small city and um, it has a small city vibe where you can move from one part of the city to the other. It's a low-cost city that is, um, you can find things um, cheap, you can buy things at a cheaper price. And the provincial sales tax is also a little bit low compared to Ontario and it's the same with British Columbia. But when you want to compare it with um, Alberta, Alberta has the least provincial sales tax. <laughs> Now, I'm not talking about the cost of living in Winnipeg. I'm just talking about the upsides of living in Winnipeg. And uh, if you want to buy a house in Winnipeg, it's quite affordable compared to bigger cities like Toronto and Vancouver. Winnipeg can be compared with cities like Saskatoon and Regina and Calgary and Edmonton. So when it comes to affordability of housing, Winnipeg is very, very affordable. And I think I would say almost the same with buying a house in Regina and Saskatoon for Calgary and Edmonton the economy has been fluctuating because of the downturn of the oil and gas um, industry which also affects other industries in um, in Alberta as well so um, affordability yes Winnipeg um, in terms of buying a house it's very affordable you can buy um, I think I'll show a picture of a house you can buy for like four hundred thousand or three hundred fifty thousand dollars Whereas if you want to buy the same house in Toronto or Vancouver, you'll be spending like $1.5 million or $1 million or $800,000 thereabout. Now, um, I've talked about the good sides of Winnipeg. I want to talk about the reasons why I don't like Winnipeg. Number one, the weather. Guys, like seriously, the weather is annoying. I mean... I think I would say for the whole prairie region, Manitoba is the top of all the three provinces that has the coldest weather. It is, it is very annoying. It's very, very annoying to me that even in April, like we had snowfall April 13th, which was yesterday. April, this is the fourth month of the year when we are supposed to be expecting spring weather. We are still experiencing snow. We are still experiencing minus 14 degrees, minus 8 degrees. I'm supposed to go outside to go and play and enjoy myself, take a walk, but I can't go out because of the weather. Uh, it's looking like I, we're just back to winter and I'm just so annoyed. I'm so pissed. Number one reason, that's the major reason I don't like Manitoba or any of the prairie provinces. Like, it is too cold. In Toronto, people are already wearing singlets. In Vancouver, people are wearing singlets. People are enjoying their time outside. Even if, even if everybody is self-isolating this period, people are still like dressing normally and then going out to take a walk or whatever. But in Winnipeg, Manitoba, or any of the prairie provinces, I won't say for Calgary, I don't know what's happening in Calgary right now. But from Winnipeg, we are still wearing jackets in April. We still wear jackets in April because the weather just keeps fluctuating up and down. And it's so annoying. Yes, guys, it's so annoying. So anybody who is planning to come to Manitoba, just prepare your mind that you'll be living in cold periods for a longer time like for eight months I, I i would have said six months and then six months cold six months hot or warm but seriously i don't know what it is like now it's it's just somehow which i find very annoying number two reason why i don't like winnipeg is crime I would have said it is number one. Number one affects me more than number two. So number two is crime. 
the crime rate in Winnipeg is something else like it is something else and the rate of drug abuse the rate of crime in Winnipeg is high compared to any other major city in Canada I can't say for Saskatoon I can't say for Regina I can't really say for Edmonton or Calgary because I'm comparing it to these cities but for Winnipeg, I think Winnipeg is number one when it comes to crime. The rate of homicide last year was alarming. Like, people killing themselves, killing innocent people, going into their houses, stealing things, stabbing. And recently, there was a theft at um, a liquor mart where a 16 years old girl and uh, three other of her friends, I think one 16 years, two 16 year old and two, two 15 years old, Four of them just stole a car vehicle, went to a liquor store, stole liquor from the store, and then started running away. The police started chasing them, and unfortunately, um, the the police shot the 16-year-old. Why? Because of theft. So the crime rate in Winnipeg is something else. Um, we've experienced it once. We parked our car outside, and the next morning our side glass was broken nothing it's not as if anything was even inside the car that was attractive but nothing was stolen so anybody who is coming to winnipeg please take note of that i know i will tell you the good things about canada but i need to tell you the other side of canada as well so that you prepare yourself when you eventually arrive and you don't get all these surprises and there are some very very bad neighborhoods i won't mention where the neighborhoods are but there are some very bad neighborhoods that you don't you don't need to rent any house in those neighborhoods in winnipeg and i think that you can find those neighborhoods in every city in canada i mean neighborhoods where you have people who are struggling poor people people who are on welfare and all that you have a lot of crime in those areas and drug dealing happens in those areas as well so in those neighborhoods please try as much as possible to avoid going to those places or renting houses in those places um for a newcomer coming to canada who doesn't have any friend or anybody to advise the person on where to rent a house or um stay in the interim try and do search do a search on crime neighborhoods in the city you want to live in if it's Edmonton you want to live in do a search on the crime rate of Edmonton and look for the neighborhoods that has the highest crime rate and avoid those neighborhoods. I mean, it's not good for the well-being of um, children and for new immigrants as well. I know for some people, they might say they don't have money and funny enough, those are the places where you find cheaper rentals. Like if you want to rent a place for like $500, you will find it in those areas. But those neighborhoods are not good at all because of the crime rate in those areas and you'll find lots of gunshots happening in those areas lots of drug abuse lots and lots of things with people abusing drugs and, and throw away the needles in the environment like anybody can you know step on those things and it becomes something else so please try as much as possible to avoid those neighborhoods then the third reason i do not like winnipeg although it's manageable it's um little opportunities fewer opportunities um, compared to bigger cities, I'll, this time around, I'm going to compare it with Toronto and Vancouver, where you have lots and lots of opportunities in almost all sectors in Canada. In Winnipeg, you have fewer opportunities. It's not as if the opportunities are not there. They are there, but they are few, and then you have lots of people competing for those opportunities. So that's why most immigrants, sometimes after spending one or two years to get their footing in Canada, they just actually leave Winnipeg and move to either Toronto or Vancouver because of any of these three reasons or because of better opportunities and career growth. So um, these are the reasons I don't like Winnipeg and seriously, I've been thinking seriously on moving out of Winnipeg. I don't know where I'll move to. I'm thinking of either moving to Ottawa or Victoria, which is in British Columbia. I know British Columbia is very expensive, but I might just kind of explore by the time this whole whatever is over um i was even planning on traveling around canada this year but you know we all we are all self-isolating so i can't do that for now until this whole issue goes away then i can now um, explore those places and decide on where i will move to next because seriously 
I don't think I want to continue living in a cold place for eight months in a year or six months in a year. It's really frustrating. So I'll continue with my frequently asked questions in my next video. Um, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.